Uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at the difference between multiple bar charts and component bar charts. This is the continuation of our video on the uh, uh, difference between simple bar chart and the component bar chart. Now, we want to look at the difference between multiple bar charts now and the component bar chart. Please, if you have not watched the video on the uh, difference between simple bar chart and component bar chart, I will advise you to go back so that you can understand this uh, particular one very well. Now, we have to stop. Uh, when we are dealing with uh, a difference between simple bar chart and component bar chart is here. We stopped here. Now, this is component bar chart and you see how we drew it. Now, let's now go to uh, multiple bar chart. So the difference between component bar chart, I told you that when you are solving component bar chart, you must use a uh, data with two or more variables. The same thing when you are solving a uh, simple bar chart. If you see a question that is also, or that is also two or more variables, like that of component bar chart, you are going to also use it for uh, multiple bar charts. So the data you use for component bar chart is suitable to be used for multiple bar chart. That's what I'm saying. Any data that you see that is suitable for component bar chart is also suitable for multiple bar chart. And any data suitable for multiple bar chart is also suitable to, to draw a uh, component uh, bar chart. Because whether component bar chart or uh, multiple bar chart, you are using a data with two or more quantitative variables and I've explained what uh, is quantitative variable in our previous video. Now, let's now use this the same data now because we've said we can use it for multiple batches. Let's use it for multiple batches. But the difference is going to be the fact that in multiple batches, the this individual individual uh, variable that we sum up here, the individual variable we sum up here, we be placed side by side of each other. So in, in simple pattern, you don't need to total. 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 That's one of the uh, difference that in simple in component pattern, you have to total that two quantitative variables. But in a multiple bar chart, you don't need to do what you don't need to sum it up. So you just place them, you place 4.4 beside 2. So that's what we are going to do now. So I can just erase this now. And just okay. Let me should I draw another one? Let me just draw. Okay. So we have our scale scale to be two centimeter equals two units. Then we have our indicator. How many do we have here? One, two. We can have another sector, so it's going to be three in that case. Since we have two here, so we just have two indicators. Our indicators for this we can use we can use anyone. This is for let's say for a big a big. Then for other sector, other sector we just use something like this for other sector. So let's draw now. You understand what I'm saying now? So we have on our graph. You have the lines. You can recall when you check your graph, you have lines like this. You have your line. You have your lines. So you can have this finger sketch. Let's continue. Let's continue. So we have the origin, and I told you what's going to be here. Quantitative variable. So these are quantitative variables. So we can have GDP or we say agree can whatever you want to make it here. So that is revenue. Let's say revenue. You know we are using revenue. So revenue. So we have the names here, quantitative variable. So for Nigeria now, for Nigeria, we are going to be using one to meaning that we are going to be using two different places here. We place this beside, we place agree beside. Uh, other. So we draw the agreed that comes first. What is the value? 4.5. Okay, let's give our scale. Let's say we have we have one, two, okay, two centimeter for one unit. That's one unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, one box is always two centimeter, and we are using it for one unit. Do you understand that? Okay. So let's start with agreed. I think it's 4.5. For 4.5, will be somewhere here. So, we place it here. 
for a gig and don't forget the indicator for a gig is just based like this, it's like this, according to this letter, you can choose any indicator. Then for the two, other sector is two, place it beside it from here. So other sector, so it's two, two should be here. Bring it, let it eat each other like this. So the indicator is, can you see the indicator? You can see that in multiple bar charts, you place the variables beside each other for each qualitative variable. For each of these, each of these, all of these quantitative variables, you place them beside each other in their indicators. So all of this is for Nigeria now. So you leave a space to start for the other country, Niger. Niger. So for the for Niger, so what I give you, take from agri also three agri from Niger. You leave a space. Don't forget three. Three is here for agri. Don't forget. You draw, trace it, trace it. Then for a big, then beside it is other sector, which is two, two, two. It's going to be here. Let them eat each other, beside each other, place them beside each other. Then use the indicator also. Don't forget that it's very important. Then the last one, leave a space again. Leave a space. Okay, we need more lines here. We need more boxes here. Okay. So leave a space again. That's the last one, Ghana. Ghana. So three also for Ghana. We start from here. We start from here. For Ghana. For Ghana. That's the indicator. Then three again beside it. Beside it. So that's how you draw your multiple brochure. So you place for, for, the, for the component bar chart, you place the variables, the, multi, the quantitative variables on top of each other. But for the uh, multiple bar chart, you place the variable beside each other. So that is how it is just very simple. Please subscribe again of our video. Thank you.